Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's training for real estate agents and also consumers, credit scores. My name is Jim Perkins with SWBC Mortgage, and I'm the branch manager for the Tyson's Virginia office. Today, what we're going to cover is information about credit scores that will by you understanding and knowing this information can save you literally thousands of dollars. So what we'll be covering today are what are credit scores <clears throat> and why they're so important. Um, they are so important because it literally, it is used by a number of different industries and uh, depending on your score, and if you understand how you can up your score, like I said, it'll save you literally thousands of dollars. We'll also look at how credit scores are calculated and eliminating the confusion of online scoring variations. So what are credit scores? Credit scores are a grading system that provide a guidance for creditors to future risks based solely on a person's credit report data. So if you think about this, what this is doing is giving a, an industry, a creditor, an idea of how you're gonna make your payments in the future. So this is, um, it's a snapshot in time on your credit report. So the credit scores can change from you know, day to day, from week to week. And by you understanding uh, the information that we're gonna to review today, you'll be able to get your credit scores to move in an upward direction, which again, will save you a tremendous amount of time and energy and more importantly, money. So what do credit scores mean? Well, this means that it's the credit score is an indicator of how a person will make their payments in the future. So, I mean, this is an incredibly useful tool for a creditor, and it turns out that they're very accurate. But a creditor then now has a tool that will let them know if a person is more than likely not going to have any problems making payments in the future, if they're going to have maybe you know, sporadic uh, problems making payments or sporadic late payments, if they're going to have late payments uh, on a consistent basis, and if they're not going to be able to make their payments at all. So with this tool, we'll determine if you're going to be able to get credit, and if you are, um, how much that credit's going to cost you. So the higher you can get your score, the lower the risk for the creditor. So understanding this is super important. So how's your credit score calculated? So the largest portion is payment history, 35%. So that payment history is what they're looking at is how you're making your payments on time, the history of your on-time payments. So if you've made late payments, especially if the late payments are in the last, um, like say 12 months or 24 months, it's gonna have a much greater impact on your credit scores than if you have late payments that are like say five or six years old. So as time goes on, there's less and less uh, impact on your credit scores, but the payment history is very important. Now remember too, it doesn't show up on your credit report until it goes past 30 days late. Even though you might be late on a payment and you get charged a late fee, it won't show up on your credit report until it goes past 30 days. So the amounts owed 30%. Now what they're looking at with this particular piece of the pie is that they're looking at the amount of available credit to what you have outstanding. So your outstanding balances, what percentage of that is to the available credit you have. You really wanna keep that uh, below 25 or 20% to give you uh, the best shot at having higher credit scores. The length of credit, 15%. What they're looking at there is going to be how long you've had credit established. Uh, so the longer time frame, uh, the better you are. And um, the other thing is you might have, a, a, say, a credit card that you're not using. Well, they're looking at that. And so what you want to do is, um, if you haven't used it in a long time, just pull it out, maybe put a tank of gas, maybe some groceries on it, you know, once every two or three months, that shows that you are using it and that you can manage your credit. And then uh, types of credit used, they're looking for uh, the best would be a mix of different types. Some installment loans, if you had those or recently paid off, uh, credit cards, 
uh, mortgages, car loans, those sort of things. You don't have to have all those, but a mix is really what they're looking at. And they're using the history of that mix that helps. And then also new credit. You got to be careful because if you're applying for a lot of credit or new credit, uh, then that can hurt you as far as your score. It's only uh, 10%. So you don't want to be applying for a lot of new credit because that can hurt you as far as your scores are concerned. So um, the other thing we wanted to focus in on today is your online scores versus your mortgage scores. So what version is being used, the online version versus the mortgage version. So when we're working with people, especially in the mortgage industry, a lot of times people will come to us and they'll tell us, hey, I've got a credit score of 730. And when we pull their mortgage credit report, their scores might come out to be like 690 or 700. And so the reason for that is that the versions that they're getting from their credit cards or banks or these online services are using a newer version of the uh, scoring system. So if you think about this like a, a software that comes out, say, if you think about, say, Windows, when Windows first came out, it was Windows 1, then Windows 2, then Windows 3. I think they're up to like Windows 10 or 11, 12 right now. But um, with the mortgage, uh, or excuse me, with the credit scoring systems, it's the same thing. Well, the newer versions are FICO 9 or FICO 9.5. The mortgage industry is still using older versions, probably around FICO 4.5. So these older versions are much more conservative, and that's why the scores are going to be lower when they're running a mortgage credit report. So I wanted to tell you that this training has been brought to you by Cindy Bishop Worldwide, a professional real estate training and educational company. Please visit the school website at cindybishopworldwide.com to see all the classes and training materials available for your use. Thanks, and we look forward to seeing you in upcoming videos.